So here's probably the most interesting thing that a lot of people don't know about. <laughs> I just found the funniest picture on my phone. Oh, it's gone. Damn it. Forget it. Okay. Yeah. So I have uh, 63 songs in my phone that I've written. Um, <laughs> it's just me, like in my bedroom. Oh, do you sing them? Uh, singing song. Yeah, there's 63 of them. Can you play one? Can you uh, play, sure. Can you get one out of pot? I'll just pick a random one. <laughs> Let's go. Well, it might be kind of cute. Put the mic there. I don't know about that. <laughs> okay. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the Jimmy Clifford Show. I'm your host, Jimmy Clifford, here with my co-host. Greg DePaul. And our two illustrious guests. Brickety Brody, low baller. <laughs> hey, Casey. Hey. <laughs> Eli Halpern. <laughs> What's up, guys? How you doing? Good. I'm great, man. I was just in the area. Yeah. I was getting a massage for, um, for, uh, I work out a lot. And then, mm-hmm. uh, they also do happy endings. So nice. There that you that go. worked out. Well, yeah. now what was the, uh, the masseuse? Give me the, the makeup. Um, older Asian woman, not too old. Like forties. Yeah. And, uh, she was wearing a mask. <laughs> she had my dick in her hand and she was wearing a mask. <laughs> What kind of mask? Like a William Shatner mask? Like a, <laughs> like a Jason hockey mask? <laughs> Give me a little penis. You can't come unless it's the William Shatner mask. He has to have the fear. Richard Nixon mask. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> I'm not a crook. Casey, you ever, you ever had a massage? I didn't do Watergate. He's got a huge dick. Um, <laughs> no, nah, man, I never have. I'm nervous of the human touch. <laughs> 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 no, I f- I I'd be too awkward, and I st- I smell like shit. I wouldn't want to do it. <laughs> I don't want to put her through that. I stink. I don't know. Do you think you're like the lowest form of life that's gotten a happy ending at an Asian massage parlor? <laughs> like, I feel like they're not judgmental there. No, I think it's a it's yeah. a it's a medical service, really. <laughs> like, there's nothing wrong with getting jerked off. I think prostitution should be legal, and I think hand jobs should be covered by insurance. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> well, what would the necessity for a hand job be? Have you ever not came for? A long time yeah it sucks <laughs> it does suck this is getting I mean, really or... political <laughs> 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 it, would, it would get rid of school shootings i'm telling you well so we should allow children to do it now too uh, like yeah, that they're a pediatrician uh, 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 that's a good point <laughs> only only if the masseuse is also a child <laughs> them off. it's a it's a slippery but now slope. you're hiring children masseuses yeah. i i immediately <laughs> retract this <laughs> there's gonna be adult men like no i want that one um <laughs> Well, the Patriot, the owner of the Patriots, if it's good enough for him, because he got busted getting his crank shafted. Yeah, what's that about, dude? He's a fucking billionaire. Yeah. He should not be going to, like, a rub and tug joint. Yeah, it was in, like, Fort Gables, Florida. <laughs> it's in, like, some bum fuck town. And it was in Tampa. And oh, yeah. Orlando. <laughs> if you guys are interested, though, go to rubmaps.ch. <laughs> is that on a website? <laughs> yeah. What you is just that? type in your zip code, and then it gives you a list. Uh, a lot of them don't do massages, though. They're just brothels. <laughs> That's not really my flavor. I need the actual massage. Yeah. Yeah. Now, do you wait for the happy ending after the massage? Or, you, like, after the massage or before the massage? Because well, I feel like I'd be a lot more relaxed for the massage. Well, isn't it an ending? That would be a happy beginning. Yeah, that's yeah. what I want, a happy beginning. <laughs> Which, honestly, I think that would be better, but also it's kind of cool because you're like, ooh, I'm about to get a hand job. Oh, yeah? <laughs> but it, it does get in the way of relaxing. What, just thinking about this hand drive you're going to get the whole time? Yeah. Now, do you talk to her? Mm, she didn't really speak English. <laughs> she kept, like, trying to say, like, cute, sexy things. And she's like, I don't know. And then, oh, dude, I can't do that. That's racist. That's so hot. <laughs> That's so hot. And, and then I'd be like, what? And then she would repeat it. And then I said what probably four times every time she talked. So I just avoided conversation. <laughs> yeah, like, Casey, you sure you don't want to go to one of these? They sound. <laughs> I don't <laughs> Well, it's like, do you ever bust, you <laughs> fellas? And uh, you ever, like, do a huge load? And then you kind of don't... Like, some men are, like, wimpy little, like, diary of a wimpy kid, little babies. And they want to, like, cuddle the woman. But you ever bust and you kind of, like, don't want to touch them? And, like, you're, like, done with the, <laughs> with the physicality? Yeah, like, as you're coming, you're like, I wish yeah. my cum was bullets. <laughs> yeah, is sex ever just, like, a transaction for you guys? I love, I love women. Do you, do you have to give her a heads up before you come? Do you just go, dee, 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 or was this a bird or a woman? I, mean, <laughs> I don't know about you, but uh, kind of start moving around. Oh, yeah, you're fucking hip shaking. Uh, shaking. 
<laughs> you're all twitchy. Look like you're having a PTSD nightmare. <laughs> 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 I just hear the helicopters from Nam. <laughs> Here's what would fuck with me though. Like you pay by the hour, right? It's a flat fee. Oh, it's a f- so you stay in there until you come. Although she put my hand on her boob, which over the shirt, under, under. She pulled out her nipple, and I was like, okay, this is an old Asian boob. <laughs> not no problem with Asian boobs, but old boobs, not a fan of any race. And then and then she said I owed her extra for that, and I was like, I didn't even <laughs> want to do that, but I understand you're probably. Your life's probably not that great. <laughs> Next time, I'll, I want to go and be like, so how many dicks do you touch a day? Yeah. Uh, I want to I get, get the her numbers. on the pod. Like, that would be crazy. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you wouldn't understand a word she fucking yeah. said. <laughs> how, many, how many dicks do you touch a day? What? That's so sad. Oh, my God. Um, okay, well, Casey, I don't know if you do, if you know the, the format of the show, but we have a bunch of clips that we're going to turn on. Oh, good. And uh, I even have some other things. Like, you know, I'll, I want to get into this one early. My brother, uh, he's in high school, and he's a sophomore. And he called me the other day and told me that one of the kids in his high school was suspended because he was selling <laughs> N-word passes. <laughs> <laughs> was it was it a black kid? It was a black kid, and then the white kid was his business manager. <laughs> so is he Jewish? I probably <laughs> look. That's the pass. It's a <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's golden. <laughs> yeah, it says golden, and then in the top left, it says, or top right, it says N-word pass. <laughs> so, he was, he was, <laughs> this is like an all-boys school. Why do you have to get Willy Wonka involved in this? <laughs> I don't know. But, like, <laughs> he was probably a Nazi. He's created Dude, by Disney. Talk about a fucking hustler, man. <laughs> like, That's pretty smart. It's honestly. a smart kid. That kid's a sophomore in high school. I don't know if that's smarter or the woman who sold her farts in jars was smarter. Probably the I don't fart. know. Did you guys hear about this? There yeah, was a chick you... selling farts in jars for like $1,000 a jar. The reality show woman? Yeah. yeah uh-huh. She ended up making like 200 grand from it. And there was that OnlyFans chick that has two vaginas. What? One for business and one for personal. Wait, that's a real Wait, thing. what? Yeah. Wait, what? Yeah. Um, Where is the second <laughs> vagina? I couldn't find any pictures. Just on her neck. I think they were right <laughs> next to her. Just a slit right on the... It's like uh, one it's of like those... like a stoma. <laughs> yeah. It's like one of those scary... The smoker? St- Fuck my throat <laughs> hole. <laughs> it's like one of those uh, scary stories to read in the dark, but it's erotic. She has to wear a scarf all the time. <laughs> and when she takes off the purple scarf... Oh, it's dude, I pussy. know that story. <laughs> yeah. I used to tell... That was my favorite campfire story when I was in... Cub Scouts. <laughs> there, was, there was a movie with uh, Hugh Jackman where he was like this really rich guy on a first date and he goes out and he's wearing one of those scarves and then he's talking to the girl and it's like, oh my God, this guy's perfect. And then he takes the scarf off and he just has a set of testicles right underneath his neck. Oh yeah, that was in like movie 42. Yeah, 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 yeah movie like 43. That. The Sham Wow guy. Sham Wow guy. He directed that. Really? Billy Mays? No. No, that's um, the other one. Vince... Like- the crackhead one. Hi, fucking <laughs> come. Yeah, that guy. <laughs> the, the one who, dude, he got um, he got some some allegation pinned on him. They paid a hooker. I forgot what the, some like media company. I think they paid a hooker to bite his tongue off, and he like hit her because she's biting his fucking tongue, and then he got arrested for like assaulting a prostitute. Yeah, he beat the shit out of her. <laughs> I remember that story. But she, like, almost bit his tongue off. Yeah. Wait, he hired he, her? Vince he, offered. Wait, but did he hire her to bite his tongue off? It was no, someone animal. else yeah. hired her. Someone else it. hired her. Oh. It, was a, it was a setup. It was a oh. damn oh. setup. Oh, I got Why you. The, I thought he, like, just, like, hired her to bite his tongue off. And then, like, once she did it, he would Dude, snapped. who's hiring? No, that would be unacceptable. <laughs> that would be insane. <laughs> what, what, what kind of life is he living if he has people paying to, like, get his tongue bitten off? That's what, I'm, that's what I thought. That's why I was perplexed. I don't remember why. <laughs> These infomercial guys, dude, they're on the <laughs> they're on the wrong side of the train yeah, tracks most of the time. <laughs> Billy Mays overdosed on like opioids, right? Yeah, what? I thought it was cocaine. He was a yeah. crack yeah. addict. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. dude, something about being really good at selling products. You have to be well, on a dude, ton no, of drugs. Crackheads know how to sell shit. I'll tell you that much. Yeah. <laughs> they need yeah, that money. Fucking the Wolf of Wall Street. Yeah, he I did dream I drugs. smoked crack last night, and then I woke up and I was, uh, oh, I relapsed. No, I'm good. You're just like, man, I'm, that was a lot. I need a hand job ASAP. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, well, fucking. Any other thoughts on the N word pass? 
That, that seems like Eli's idea of 21 Jump Street. Like, they send him, <laughs> they send him to high school to, like, go undercover. <laughs> and, like, two days later, they're like, Eli, what the fuck? He's like... <laughs> Who is selling these yeah, N-word the passes? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's him and a 14-year-old black kid. <laughs> and Elijah's That'd there like, movie. it's marketing. You got to yeah. do marketing. <laughs> <laughs> the kid, it wasn't even the kid's idea. Eli approached him with it. Hear me out. Okay. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Just like, well, if I was doing this, I would specify that you only get one. <laughs> this per pass. This sounds like an yeah. This sounds like an open invite to just use it whenever you want. <laughs> I think it was. Yeah, I don't think <laughs> I don't think that's acceptable. It's a low price too. It was like ten bucks. Yeah, no. <laughs> that's a lot if you're in high school. <laughs> yeah, I mean, but, no, it's white high school full of rich kids. It should be a monthly they, subscription. A monthly subscription like Spotify. Five bucks okay. for weed was a lot for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, tell tell Casey about the uh, the rapper guy. Oh. So he, the other day, I, uh, yesterday, I picked up this dude in an Uber, uh, and I was like, oh, what do you do? He's like, oh, I'm a rapper. And I was like, that's cool. Do you do shows? And he's like, yeah, I d- I've done one show. And I was like, yeah, <laughs> fucking cool. He's like, yeah, right now I'm really I'm trying to focus on my merch line. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> dude, my thought exactly. I was like, you don't fucking have, you don't perform to anybody. A, where are you finding them? And B, wh- who's buying it? And like his mom <laughs> was the one that called the fucking Uber. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. He, he lives with his parents, right? I think so. He's got two customers right there. Yeah. Yeah. That, yeah. yeah you'd normally need to get popular before you can <laughs> sell merch. That's like that's like me moving to Austin and never doing an open mic and then just going into Creek and trying to sell crab shirts. <laughs> no, it's cool. I'm really funny. Trust me. It's just, I'll go up later. I don't want to go up right now. But I do this crab thing. It's fucking awesome. <laughs> But yeah, I, I really want to hear his music, dude. I think that um, I think if you sold crab shirts, pretty much every fucking comic in Austin would buy them and just rock the <laughs> yeah, shit out of them. Yeah, why do you do them. that? I need to yeah. get dude. Some... I'll help you set up a store. Zero investment. Printful. Right. Yeah, Casey, you actually could sell merch. You for sure could. <laughs> and then right. link it to Bandcamp. I got rappers? you set up, dude. All right, me and Eli are, are you on Bandcamp? Uh, why would I be? I don't know. Wait, that no, is. that's no big cartel, not Bandcamp. Bandcamp's <laughs> audio. <laughs> big cartel. Big cartels where you sell merch. It's free to list five products, and then you can use Printful.com to drop ship with uh, zero investment, and you just get a cut of the profit. Dude, Eli's definitely this kid's business manager. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no shot. Like, Listen, we'll print out. We could sell N word passes as <laughs> shirts. <laughs> we'll print out the passes. It's super easy. You just go on this website. No investment required. We can put the passes on the shirts. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Fuck. Okay. Um, this is what this is like the most exciting clip that I want to show you guys. Okay. Um, this happened at an open mic in Fresno, and I think I'm. Re- I want it to happen. I don't want it know, to happen. I know where this is going. You know where this is going? Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to show the clip. It is. Who gives a shit? I can't see right now. God damn. Go on your phone. I'm cool with that. Jesus. There you go. Fuck it. I didn't scare the ghost. There you go. Oh, fuck. Oh my god. <laughs> Dude, that guy hates ghosts. <laughs> Dude, I just I wanna see I wanna see someone try to do that to Eli and then Eli just punt him in the fucking head. Just spinning back fist him in the nineteen ninety two, dude. Like there are some comics on the scene that that would not be funny for, right? Like, we were talking about this with a club owner, and I was like, hey, if someone attacked me when I was on this show at your place, uh, can I? if I hit them back, would I get banned for life? And he was like, you can do no wrong. <laughs> and I was like, why would you tell me that? <laughs> That's the worst thing you could tell him. And I'm just going to be waiting for it. Dude, fucking wild. What would you do, Casey? Someone attacked you like, oh, oh God, I don't know. Enough crab material. <laughs> you just turtle up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, just curl into a Start little ball. Start pinching him. <laughs> yeah, I'd call my manager. I'd call Eli. I'd fucking go figure, <laughs> <laughs> figure it out for me. I'd pray, like, my first instinct would be to, like, keep it funny. So, like, honestly, I don't know. I'd probably, like, try to, like, dance around. or something. I'm sure I'd get knocked the fuck out. Here, here's a question. Has your set ever, like, seriously offended somebody? Because I've seen, like, I've seen people get confused by it. I don't have time for friends. I'm too busy drinking Robitussin and eating coins. Who's with me? Passive what? Passive 
passive income. <laughs> oh, yeah. There's people who hate it, but they don't get offended. Yeah. Like, you'll see, I'll see a lot of people. I'm not very cognizant of the audience, but when I do take a second to look, there'll be a couple. Like, let's say there's 50 people. There'll be five of them who are like, <laughs> like stop being silly. <laughs> Be serious. Yeah. So, but they don't try to hit me. What he hit him with a <laughs> with a light yeah. thing. Let's fucking back like it up. Was that was it a drink or a light? Yeah, let's I watch this like ten like more times. Like he brought like a salt lamp. Maybe it's one of the like table candles. <laughs> 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 that was not a table candle. That was a table campfire. It was huge. <laughs> That guy didn't defend himself at all. He just let the things come to his head. <laughs> he kind of took it in the tip. Put your hands on it. Honestly, he looks like he's about to start. Took it in the tip, looks like he's about to continue a set. I think he did. Couple more, couple more. <laughs> did I get the light yet? <laughs> yeah. You literally got the light yeah, you to your <laughs> fucking face. Anyway. What if that's how they gave you the light? Yeah, but that wasn't the host. Throw a light bulb at you. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, but what was it though? Like it was multiple candles? No, it's not. I think you're nothing. stuck on this they candle. Had, they thing. had a light down here. I'm pretty sure. You made the candles up part. You made that part up. <laughs> <laughs> you're stuck on the candles part. But I think okay. they're candles. <laughs> Do you see how big that fucking candle is? Well, why is the candle so big? <laughs> More like candles. <laughs> Oh, dude, one more time, one more time. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Took it right in the jaw. <laughs> so you don't like the new the new material, huh? <laughs> Fuck, dude. I'm working on some new shit. <laughs> I wonder if he's actually funny. He seemed kind of funny. Like, his cadence seemed kind of funny. <laughs> he seemed assertive, at least. Dude, what if, like, <laughs> when he's trying to do shows on the road, this is the tape that he sends out? <laughs> 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 he's like, electric comedian. How many views does it have? I don't know, dude. I fucking screenshotted it. Is that it. from TikTok? Galen Nash sent it to me. He's like, one of my buddies took this video, and I uh, just recorded it. Because I was like, I don't know how long this is going to be allowed online. <laughs> but, fuck, dude. So funny. Um... This guy did not... He, I mean, he ate the punches, like you said. Didn't really take it like a champ. You want to see someone that took it like a fucking champion? Also, oh, that boy. guy <laughs> threw weak punches. Yeah. This is a little different. This one I call take it like a champ. You <laughs> 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 about to twerk? <laughs> what is this, Houston? <laughs> <laughs> the perfect time to twerk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what? That's gang shit, baby. <laughs> I saw another one of those. This guy gets hit like that, and then people just two guys just run up immediately and just take it, everything that's out of his out of his pockets. Is that Atlanta? <laughs> yeah, that might have been in <laughs> Houston. That was in Zone Six, dude. I know those guys. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, she popped up, but like, she's definitely in pain for a while. But she had a little smirk on her face, like whoopsie. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, Mommy got hit. <laughs> whoopee! <Did> I ha <laughs> whoopee! <laughs> she flew like five feet. Why is people getting hurt so funny? I don't know. It just really is. There's gotta be a psychological explanation. Boom! <laughs> whoopee! <laughs> Dude, that had to break her hip or leg. She knocked her wig out. <laughs> We went flying, dude. She has the perfect amount of buoyancy, too. Like, her body is just built to absorb a hit like that. That's God's gift. I really thought she was going to twerk right there. That would have been so funny. <laughs> she just busted it on the ground. That would have been perfect. <laughs> Fuck, that would be like the most... <laughs> Wait, did she set that up? <laughs> Hold, hold on, I gotta pop my head. It's hip actually back just a place. music video. That wasn't even an accident. <laughs> yeah. Fuck, it was dude. a Lizzo music video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Lizzo's doing a lot of weird shit nowadays. <laughs> Featuring just, Travis Scott. That's oh. just art. <laughs> but dude, yeah, I mean fuck I uh did I ever show you guys the video? I was driving Uber in Austin. And this, these two guys were fighting on 6th Street, and one of them, they were standing in front of their car. One of them got pissed, got in his car, and then rammed into the other guy's car in, like, a T-bone fashion. 
<laughs> it's like people are fucking wild. You probably see some crazy shit doing Uber. Dude, I have crazy shit all the time. The other day I had this kid. Yeah. I just, you know, I don't know who that is. I just see a name when I accept the ride. And I accepted the ride. The guy texts me. He's like, hey, can you uh, pick me up some beer from the liquor store? It's about to close. And I won't be able to make it in time. I'll pay you back. I was like, no problem. So I pick up the beer, drove o- drove over to the pickup location. Kid gets in. He's like 15 years old. I was like, dude, oh. that's a fucking smart move, right? Yeah. <laughs> fucking genius ass kid. I was like, it'll be $30. <laughs> so you can, yeah but um fucking yeah wild shit in uber yesterday i had this one guy who was uh like the biggest fucking like wall street douchebag ever met he gets in and the first sentence he says to his buddy is he goes yeah so i'm working at this new firm it's only pretty small only four billion <laughs> <Fucking nerd. laughs> and he's like yeah and then i I, every part of my being wanted to be like, so what do you think of cum coin? Is it going to go up? or <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking of fart bucks. <laughs> but is that your portfolio? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> like, just let me out here. <laughs> is that your IRA? <laughs> Dude, it was fucking wild. He's like, yeah, we're right now living in Matthew McConaughey's house. And his friend's like, oh, that's so cool. I'm <laughs> beating off in the back seat. But I don't know. I love guys like that. I like to just break them down. Yeah? How do you break them down? I like the cum coin line. I would have I would have done something along that line, <laughs> and then I would have started talking about how uh, he got all his money from his dad. Yeah, he was like fifty, and um, he was. I guess it was like a buddy because I picked him up at a hotel, so I think it was like, oh, his buddy's in town and he's showing him around Austin, or uh-huh. like maybe a potential client or something. But just the line, like small firm, only four billion. <laughs> it's like, fuck off, dude. <laughs> so when are you going to rehab? Yeah. I'm driving Uber, and he didn't tip me, which fucking pissed me off. <laughs> well, dude, he's only part of a small firm. Yeah. If I, if it was an <laughs> like $8 billion dollar firm, he'd be able to toss me $2 yeah, on dude. a fucking 20-minute <laughs> Uber ride. I don't know. What, do you, what are you doing for money, Casey? I do, uh, I do Grubhub DoorDash. Yeah? Yeah, I used to do Uber as well, and I would tell uh, people to come to my comedy shows. Do you do that? Yeah. Yeah. And then I had a couple come one time, and they hated it, <laughs> and, uh, which makes sense. I shouldn't have told them. It was like an older couple, and they, <laughs> and they, I was like trying to make small talk, and I was like, uh, "Yeah, I'm doing a comedy show tomorrow." And they were like, "Oh, cool, we're visiting town," and they were so sweet. They were like old, and they showed up, and I'm just <laughs> fucking like <laughs> whatever. It was one of my more outrageous sets too. Like I was on, I was having a good night. A lot and of nipple material. Just fucking. I hardly did the nippy stuff in Boise. This is a pre-nipple rocket. <laughs> and <laughs> the, the world was my oyster. I had my whole life ahead of me. And <laughs> been just a lot of screeching. And they left, like, I was supposed to do, like, 20 minutes. And they left, like, God, it must have been, like, three minutes. Like, <laughs> they did not last long. <laughs> did they buy a ticket? Yeah, they bought a ticket. So it doesn't really matter. But, like, they, the, I could see it was, like, the you ever seen the meme of Mr. Incredible where he's smiling? And then... It, uh, did you see their faces during your set? Yeah. Oh. Like, <laughs> they were smiling in the beginning, like, that's our Uber driver. And then I'm like... Bah, 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 bah. And then it gets all black and white and distorted. Yeah, yeah. Just, <laughs> <laughs> Meredith, we're leaving. <laughs> Call an Uber. I answer the... <laughs> You're not going anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the only Uber in this town. <laughs> the only Uber in a hundred mile radius. <laughs> Fuck, dude. And then you bring him DoorDash. Yeah. <laughs> they can't escape the rocket. <laughs> I know where you live. Do you uh do you ever bring girls to the show? Uh from Uber? Yeah. Oh, no, not from Uber. Oh. Like, <laughs> just girls oh. you're meat. I don't really meet. I don't really meet. I, all I do is comedy, and I don't drink, so I only meet women at comedy stuff. So, and I don't drive Uber here. So no, the answer is no. And it, no. <laughs> but it, b- before, <laughs> would you be like, you know, trying to impress a girl and be like, come to my show? Oh yeah, How'd yeah. It go? Um, I had like two of them like it. I really liked this girl from a record store for a while, and then uh, she came, and I, I don't, I saw her walk in, and then I, she was not there when I got off stage. So <laughs> I don't, I don't know, oh. but I liked her a lot. <laughs> Dude, you just dodged a bullet. <laughs> Probably. I'm a really sweet guy, and, and the right woman will uh, come someday. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right, guys? Anytime yeah, you dude. get ghosted, that's a heartbreak you just avoided. Mm-hmm. 
Just think of it like that. Wow. Let's get a yeah. look at it. I, oh, yeah. um, cool. Yeah, fucking, I'll put on the next one. This one, this one's more, I was just really curious about Casey. Okay. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'll just play it. I'm very morbidly curious as to what men are doing in the notes. Well, I'm glad you asked. Christmas list. It doesn't really matter what this fucking guy says. But, like, <laughs> I want to know, Casey, what the fuck's in your notes app? <laughs> oh, God. I have a lot of stuff. So, I, I, that's how I write all my comedy stuff. How many notes do you have, first of all, in the notes app? Oh, a lot. It says it at the bottom. <laughs> There's a lot of them. Oh, 100. No, 1,253. Fuck, dude. Oh, I wish I could see mine. I don't a, know how many. a lot of them is just one-liners that don't that aren't really jokes. It's like just little sentences, like as if I'm like trying to write a book or something. Let's hear um, one. Give me one. <laughs> well, one says Meat Canyon. Um, <laughs> and then, uh, <laughs> a lot of jokes. Uh, pre-qualified for a loan but there's that's it it just says that <laughs> i don't know what loan that was a, oh that was only a month ago so will you like write something like pre-qualified for a loan and just be like all right that's my set for yeah. the next three minutes yeah <laughs> and I, the, the riff god yeah. takes over through him i will uh yeah so i it's most it's a lot of sets uh fucking a lot of like a uh, movie list ambient coins like just just <laughs> words like a lot of my sets i'll have like Four lines, so two words, two words, two words, two words, and then I'll riff. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'll riff the set from that. Uh, a lot of places that I parked. <laughs> um, account numbers, various account numbers. Well, you, um, you put where you park in your notes? Yeah, just in case I forget. Why don't you just send yourself the current location? I don't need to do that, man. <laughs> oh, I have one that says soap today. <laughs> soap today. That was months ago. <laughs> <laughs> soap today. What was that to I don't know. To shower or uh, to get soap, or maybe he wrote a bit about soap. He's like, I want to get soap tomorrow. <laughs> Fuck. The note says today. Shit. I don't have time. Hornet spray, tombstone, cat in the rain, but cat is spelled with a K. <laughs> <laughs> cat in the rain. <laughs> Donate plasma. Uh, <laughs> Mississippi Burning, which is just a great movie starring Willem <laughs> Dafoe. <laughs> Synchronicities, keep your eyes open. I must have been, <laughs> that must have been fucked up. That's kind of some <laughs> esoteric shit. Um, <laughs> Simon Bazinga. <laughs> thunder. Three notes in a row that say thunder with a question mark. <laughs> uh, hit up Philly on Thursday. That was three years ago. <laughs> three gift bags. That was three years ago. I don't know. I feel like I know what all these mean. Yeah, no. You just speak Casey at this point? Yeah. The first time I saw him, I was like, dude, I get this guy. <laughs> <laughs> He's speaking my language. He's my subconscious. <laughs> New Mexico, <laughs> Crescent Moon. <laughs> Ketamine Mondays. <laughs> Is that a podcast Oh, idea? dude, I forgot about Ketamine Mondays. <laughs> Those are simpler times, man. Yeah, just a lot of comedy stuff and nonsense. I have a lot of movie lists. What would you call your merch line? Fucking goddamn hypnotic breeze. I don't, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> yeah, 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 that yeah. actually. <laughs> a lot of songs. I have. So here's probably the most interesting thing that a lot of people don't know about. <laughs> I just found the funniest picture on my phone. Oh, it's gone. Damn it. Forget it. Okay. Um,. I was one of the most, you said it was one of the most interesting things. Yeah. So I have uh, 63 <laughs> songs in my phone that I've written. Um, <laughs> it's just me, like in my bedroom. Oh, do you sing them? Uh, singing song. Yeah, there's 63 of them. Can you play one? Can you uh, play, sure. Can you get one out of pot? I'll just pick a random one. <laughs> Let's go. Well, it might be kind of cute. <laughs> Like, yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I want to feel the love. <laughs> okay. Here we go. I want to feel the love on your lips <laughs> and your Irish car. It's about an Irish car. <laughs> I want to feel the way you look at me and your Irish 
car. <laughs> what the fuck's an Irish car? I don't know, but it's funny. <laughs> Were you raised by people that just talk to puppies all day? Santa, I want to see you, Santa. Hold on, there's a good one. Santa, I want to see you, Santa. Santa, I want to see you, Santa. want to see you sit up on this dick and do a little spin. Santa Claus, I want to see you, Santa. want to see Santa Claus, Santa. want you to hop on this dick and do a split. Make me grand. Are you, are you saying sing or sin? I Santa, that, I, I want to see... I, I love see. that I can hear the classic blues influence on yeah. that one. <laughs> it's kind of poppy, though, too. Yeah, I'm a big Muddy Waters guy. Um, <laughs> it says, Santa, I want to see you sin. So I want to see Santa be bad. <laughs> <laughs> this is pretty funny, man. There's see, 62 more. Dude, I would love it to see Casey go to like a <laughs> mall with a mall a Santa and just side. sit on his lap and start singing that song. <laughs> Santa, I want to see you, Santa. He's like fucking looking around. <laughs> Jesus Christ. He's a grown man. And he's just dressed like Ariana Grande, just like doing all these dance moves. <laughs> Put your hair in the bun. Yeah. <laughs> Santa, I want to sing. Like, throwing it in his face. <laughs> Dude, can we record some of those songs? Oh, I'd love to. I would absolutely love to. Yeah. I, I invited Casey to shoot guns tomorrow. Yeah. And he was like, I don't know about that. I don't trust myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, me neither. End my misery. But um, <laughs> instead of that, let's uh, let's make some songs. We can do that. It's really easy. I have a. You can do both. I house. think that's a rapper thing. You shoot like guns, it. make songs. It's yeah. Like part of it. Santa rap. Santa rap. It'd be a great music video. I would love that. Just a dirty Santa and Casey riffing. <laughs> Just Casey and Eli in bathrobes shooting AKs, singing yeah. about Santa. <laughs> <laughs> I want to see you sit up on a chair and do a split on my dick <laughs> on Sixth Street. <laughs> Fuck, dude. That's a little <laughs> multifaceted comic. Yeah, I, I fuck with those lyrics. Any other uh, special mm. skills we should know about, Casey? That's about it, man. Can't I'm, juggle? I know I'm really good at basketball. We'll play sometime. That's about it. No, my whole personality is riffs, man. That's it. That's all I have. So that's about it. What about you? Eli is the, one of the most interesting people I've ever met. He's like a professional kickboxer. Yeah, dude. Fucking. Not professional. You fucking do it. Do you get paid country. for it? I just uh, have to overcompensate for how weak and small I feel inside. Oh, there you go. By building a bunch of skills without actually improving myself as a person. Who do you like better, comedians or fighters? It's different. Think of who you're sitting with. There's um. <laughs> 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 with uh, I I feel jealousy in the comedy community, mm -hmm. but I don't feel that in the fighter community. But also, I can't. Be as much as myself in the fighter community. I can't just. I feel like fuck there's probably less ego involved in the fighter community. It's like yeah. a totally different type of thing. Yeah, and if someone gets booked on a bunch of shows, there can be some jealousy with other comics. Whereas if someone fucks someone up doing some crazy shit in the ring, it's like, yeah, we did that together because we're training partners and there's no jealousy at all. Yeah. yeah. And it's probably less subjective too because, like, you know who wins a fight. You can't yeah. like you can't yeah. like say who's the best comedian. Everyone has like different senses of well, humor. Well, no, because you can be like, well, he shouldn't have won. He that was stupid. I just fucked oh, up for a second there. Like a decision. Yeah, yeah. There, there's there's that, but it's it's against the opponent, and and there's also a lot of like love and respect. I have to like my buddy Christian Ammons just fucking front kicked this dude in the face and got the title, and uh, the dude broke. I think he broke his jaw, he cut his tongue open. Oh. And fucked up his mouth to the point where when they handed him the mic after, he was like, yes, yeah, this is a really good fight. Like, he, he had a lisp after. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh, no. And then they just they just hug each other, and they were like, good job, man. Like, yeah. it's, it's cool, man. Because you, you can't really have that much hostility after you just beat the shit out of each other for, like, five rounds. Now, I can't imagine you're really thinking about it that much, but when you're fighting in, like a like, a real fight, does the crowd ever play a factor in it or no? No. You get nervous? Yeah. Like, does it make There's a difference kill if me. it's a packed room or an empty room in terms of how you fight? No, I don't think so. Because I... Yeah, well, it's more nerve-wracking when there's people watching, for sure. Um, I've, I've only done... I've only done two fights, though. So I don't really know how everyone else feels. But, yeah, getting your ass kicked sucks, but getting your ass kicked... 
with a bunch of people going, yeah, fuck that guy. <laughs> it's worse. Yeah. It's definitely worse. Casey, you ever been in a fight? Oh, yeah. Yeah, many fights. Yeah? yeah. How'd it go? Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I've probably been in, oh, I don't know, 15 fights or something. <laughs> yeah. um, what, what's your record? Baker's dozen. Oh, record. God, the record's not good, man. <laughs> I've, I've, won, <laughs> I've won maybe four of them, so it's... <laughs> You know, whatever. That's like thirty three percent ratio. <laughs> do you scream yeah. when you fight them? Uh, I have in the past. Like uh, <laughs> I used to do this thing when I would get drunk. I would screech like blackout drunk. I would literally just like walk around going like, <laughs> like, a, and everybody would laugh or like hate it, and they mostly <laughs> hated it. And so when I would get really drunk and like fight. Random people, which would happen, and uh, now are you the instigator or are you? Like... I was normally the instigator. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm a terrible drunk, <laughs> and uh, yeah, I just like we'll just be talking, and I'll just get mad about something, and you know, you're so shit faced, your punches have like no effect, so I just be talking, to <laughs> and then they just beat the shit out of me. <laughs> Why do you do that? <laughs> Yeah, it was awful. So person. you're like a Frank Gallagher type of drunk, like yeah, it was just a <laughs> wandering mess, around man. talking yeah. shit. Like, yeah. <laughs> no, he's a Gallagher type of drunk. Yeah. He just wants to smash, smash watermelons. watermelons. <laughs> yeah, but I've won a, so I went to military school for for six months when I was 14, and I got in a lot of fights there, and and I won a couple of them. But the thing is, I don't I don't like fighting because even the ones that I won, I felt so bad. This one time I, I beat this kid up and I tried to give him money afterwards. <laughs> Wait, you would feel bad about the fight after you got your ass kicked? I would feel bad about the fights that I won. But you wouldn't feel bad after you got your ass kicked? No, it was kind of fun. Because then you're like, your adrenaline's going and you're like, man, that guy's pussy. <laughs> he's lucky you didn't. He's lucky we weren't fighting or whatever. <laughs> but he just kicked the shit out of me. And then what would the fights uh, be over? Uh, normally they do like one person chokes the other person and then everybody will break it up. No, no, no. I mean like what started the fight? Oh, all kinds of like, stuff. Like if you're in military school, it's not like you're getting fucked up and you're just talking shit. No, the, those were all sober. Some people, like, uh, one time I got jumped by like 20 people who thought Why? I- Why? They thought I stole his hat. <laughs> what? Or something, which I did not do. And there was also spice there at military school and, and he <laughs> thought I stole a spice, which I didn't do. And, uh, and he, he got his 19 buddies to be like, fucking give his hat back. Yeah, it was bad. Dude, there were 19 people willing to beat you up over someone else's bag of spice. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was so a mob weird. mentality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they probably wanted a hit. For sure. It was an all, yeah. Well, it was an all boys school. So people were like looking for fucking like entertainment. So when somebody, when somebody had beef, it was like a whole squad of people was like, I'm not doing anything. You know, <laughs> this could have all been avoided yeah. with medicinal hand know, jobs. Were you, yeah. <laughs> were you on your own, or did you have some friends to help oh, out? Oh, I was alone. I didn't. I got cornered. Like I was in my room. Somebody, these two guys, knocked on my door, and they were like, "Hey, man, why don't you come talk to us in the bathroom real quick?" And uh, <laughs> oh, no. I kind of knew what was happening, but I'm also not a pussy, so I was like, "Man, what do they think they're gonna do to me?" And uh, I walk in there, and there's like 20 <laughs> dudes in there, and I turned around, the door was blocked, and I was like. <laughs> uh oh <laughs> and they just beat the shit out of the back of my head <laughs> like uh so it doesn't leave bruises these guys were pros <laughs> I, got, were I got no, i was about to fight this guy once and um we're like out on the street and he's like what motherfucker i'm like what you fucking pussy and i'm walking towards him i take my shirt off he's walking towards me like fuck you pussy and i take my pants off and then I just get completely naked. And he's just like, what the fuck? And then he just turns around and leaves. Damn. Yo, I saw a video the other day of you having like a slap fight with some dude. That wasn't me. That wasn't you? No. With Leo? Yeah, no, I, that, was that wasn't me. It was that was, that another, was my friend who is Another my hulking height. man with a big beard? Yeah, he trains with me. Damn. Uh, he was, fucked him up, bro. just trains with a bunch of guys that look like him. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much. That's why there's no jealousy. <laughs> We all just jerk each other off. And we're like, it's not gay, it's narcissism. You, you didn't even go to the massage parlor before. You're just hanging with your boys. <laughs> <laughs> so what what happened in the, the video, <coughs> Colin's taking the video, Colin O'Mara. And it's my my buddy's friend's birthday. I, I just met him. And uh, they're doing a slap off, I guess, which is stupid because the guy was small. <laughs> yeah, he was so he small. slaps the shit out of my friend who's taller than me. And then he, he's like, oh, all right. 
happy fucking birthday, man. And he goes, bam, and just knocks him out. Yeah. <laughs> he just passes out. And then the, the camera flips around, and it's just Colin going. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, he, perfect. I uploaded a TikTok. He fucking hit the ground like a ton of bricks. Wait, it's on your TikTok oh, I right now? See it. Yeah. yeah I can pull it up. It up. Yeah, okay. I want to see it. It's on Brody Lowballer. <laughs> Where was this? Right across from Latchkey. Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> Look at his hit. It's like so weak. Yeah, yeah it was Labyrinth. adorable. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hit him right on the button, dude. Yeah. <laughs> bye bye. Something wild. Oh, that's hysterical. He yeah. felt so bad. He did? Yeah. Was it the guy, the shirtless guy's birthday? Yeah. Fuck, dude. <laughs> dude, that, that place I was at is it's called In Cahoots, I N N. It's like an Airbnb rental. It's right across from Latchkey. Like you oh, walk no past shit. it all the time. And they had a, a pool that was a hot tub. That's nice. It was cool. Have you ever, uh, were you here in Austin when. It was like early, maybe like February of last year. Everybody's at the Lucky Duck doing an open mic. They're hanging outside in the front. And there's some guy in one of the um, fucking apartments. His window's wide open. And he's butt naked just walking around. <laughs> like dick swinging. And people are like, Woo! Dude, the whole Lucky Duck, it was like they were doing it inside that night too. So the whole Lucky Duck just emptied out into the front and they brought the microphone outside and everyone just started yelling at him. There was probably, did he, did he like, hear you guys? Like, yeah, he did. There was probably like 60 people yeah, there. Yeah, it was, was like, he like, oh no, or was he like, hey, yeah. He was like, hey! <laughs> he was fucking wild. Really? Yeah. He was like excited. But then oh he just looked God. like sad after a while. He's like, oh, they're never going away. <laughs> <laughs> because like... I would have put on a show, dude. There's only so much you can do, right? As the swinging dick guy. Like if he starts with it, his act started with swinging dick. Where does he yeah, go from there? Yeah, yeah. He starts like fingering himself, and the people are like, "No, thank you." Too much. <laughs> Start trying on outfits. Yeah. There's a bunch of open mic comedians. We probably would have been like, "Yeah, now further, <laughs> the whole fist. <laughs> yeah. Work your way up to three fingers." Yeah, <laughs> giving him advice. <laughs> That's so funny. Damn, bro. Yeah, that's not something you would cheer for if there was an open window. <laughs> and guys just fucking just uh -huh. <laughs> fingering his asshole. Starts smearing his shit on the yeah. windows. <laughs> Finger the pain. Like cheers every time he like moves a duck. Just yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Last night I um I did putting different <laughs> objects up his ass. Last night I did the parlor room and fucking Baker Mayfield showed up. What? You know, yeah, dude. The Baker Mayfield showed up to the Parlor Room show last night. What the fuck, man? Yeah, and the funny Who's part that? was he's the quarterback for the Browns. Oh. Yeah, he's a starting quarterback for the Browns. <laughs> Heisman <crazy>. winner. <laughs> um, but the funny thing is, I was like, I want to go ask him if he wants to do a set. You yeah. Know? And so I was like, I'm too nervous. I don't know what to say. And then you guys know Janessa Carlin? Yeah. Janessa's uh. like, fuck it, I'll ask him. And she's like, okay. And he has a sling because his fucking arm is injured. So his right arm is in a full, like, real, like, you know, the ones with the little pads on the belly so it doesn't even go in. Uh -huh. And she walks up and she just goes, hey, Baker, whack, 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 right on his shoulder. Uh -huh. And she's like, you want to do a set? And he goes, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> she's like, okay. <laughs> Turns and walks, she goes, what a dick. <laughs> I'm like, I'm like, he's a professional athlete and you just slapped his bad shoulder. Like Oh dude, so funny. She I must be her. she must be a Steelers fan. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I love when people instigate something and then they blame the other person. Yeah. What one of the comedians tripped over the mic stand over the mic cord and I was like, ah, footwork like that. You should play for the Browns. And he was just like <laughs> he did not like it. He left halfway through the show. <laughs> Fuck this place. I can't believe she did that. <laughs> was she just like kind of oblivious? Like oblivious. She didn't, she didn't realize. She was like, why was he such a dick? And I was like, you just hit him where he made $20 million. Like, Did she realize that she had done wrong? Once I told her. And then she was like, oh, no. <laughs> I don't know anything about sports. Fighting's a sport. I don't know anything about fighting except how to do it, kind of. You don't watch it at all? Not 
not that much. Just uh, as a social event with teammates sometimes. Are you a big sports guy? I kind of respect that more. Yeah, yeah. I'm a big, I'm a really big uh, baseball fan. What's also, your team? Uh, the Cubs. Cubs. Yeah, Sad I listen, life. listen to every Cubs game on my phone. And uh, Bulls fan, basketball. There yeah. You go. go Bulls. Yeah. Jimmy Stewart is still on the team, right? Uh, Jimmy Stewart? Jimmy Butler? Real, Jimmy Butler, thank no, you. No, he Jimmy is, Stewart's an uh, actor from the 40s. Yes, he, he was in It's a Wonderful Life. <laughs> yeah. the cheeseburger Paradise guy? That's Jimmy, Jimmy Buffett. Buffett. <laughs> <laughs> we got all the Jimmys. Uh, Jimmy Clifford? Podcast host, that's Jimmy Clifford, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, no, I love sports, man. Yeah, I played baseball from when I was 4 to 18. As I played, even in my high school years when I was super fucked up, I was still playing yeah. rec baseball, doing acid and playing games you, and shit. You'd yeah. be high on acid during your oh, game? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Would we it did help it a couple hurt? times. Hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was awful. <laughs> one, ta- uh, one time I walked, you know, so I got four balls and I got to take the base. And I was kind of just hoping I would strike out because, like, <laughs> it was the morning after we had tripped and we had a game at, like, 10 a.m., but we dropped at, like, 2 a.m. So I'm, like, still fully in it <laughs> and i walked and i remember so they're like take your base and i was like like everything was so delayed i was like base <laughs> i mean base <laughs> and i was like i just remember walking and like everybody kind of staring at me and um i went and i stood directly on top of the base that's my one memory of it which is not the yeah. usual <laughs> baseball i was on acid my second fight <laughs> what really? how'd that what? go <laughs> Not great. <laughs> like, I didn't get this guy's up. got nine arms. <laughs> <laughs> this guy was trying to kill me. Like, he was swinging like that. I'm not taught how to defend against that because that's not how you punch. Yeah. So, uh, I was just like, I don't know, man. It was it was wild. Did you win? It was a draw. Yeah. It's kind of like that Jim Carrey sketch where he's the, uh, the uh, like woman's defense instructor uh-huh. and he's like if someone comes at you with a knife ready come at me with a knife like this and then they don't do it they just stab him and he's like you didn't do it correctly <laughs> did you see that when i went live on instagram when i was fighting a few no. months ago you were f- fucking hey shit like you were live no, while I, fighting? I gave someone my phone i gave it to my buddy to record and then she he handed it to my girlfriend at the time and i was like why did you do that <laughs> at the so, time <laughs> that uh that fucked me up a little bit. Yeah. I was like, oh, no, you have my phone for this whole time. <laughs> 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 Gotta make this fight quick. <laughs> That's funny, dude. I um, I don't know. I was always a fucking horrible athlete. Like, Really? Dude, Same. I was the worst. Yeah. I did drama club. Oh, God. I was a theater <laughs> kid. Yeah, I did that, too. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Casey, who's that one baseball player that was on acid and he pitched a perfect game? Doc Holliday? Yeah. Doc Ellis. Doc Ellis. See, I can't remember. Doc Holliday is, is Val Kilmer's character from Tombstone. <laughs> <laughs> I'm your Huckleberry. Uh, <laughs> the, you weren't anywhere near the fucking uh, throwing a perfect game. Now, could people on your team realize you were high on acid, or is it just like, that's Casey? Uh, at that point in my life, I was like 16, and we were kind of fucked up all the time. So, no, I don't think anybody knew, but I remember. Also, that same game, I was playing shortstop, which is the... They should have put me in the fucking outfield. Like, I was in no... Shortstop, you get a lot of action. And it's like one of the most important positions. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and it takes a lot of skill, too. Uh, and there's a lot of throwing and catching and moving. And somebody hit a line drive, and I dove for it. And uh, there's no way I was within <laughs> 10 feet of the ball. There's no way. <laughs> like, it was like... I was directly at the third baseman, and I was like... <laughs> everybody kind of looked at me like what <laughs> gotta hustle <laughs> you never know you never know where the ball's gonna go <laughs> like, yeah you do uh, <laughs> that's how I played baseball sober when I was a kid yeah <laughs> I'm so bad at sports dude they put me in the out when I played baseball they put me in that right field specifically because that's where the ball went the least you know, I was always in the outfield. Dude, the, the best the best play I ever had in baseball, I was in left field, 
and they pop fly to left field. I put my glove right over my face so I can't see anything. I miss the ball with my glove. It hits me in the dick. But my cup was so big that it just stuck inside my cup. <laughs> and I just fell back and the ball's just like trapped again. That counts, right? It counts. Yeah. I was like, ah! <laughs> Way to go, Clipper! <laughs> That's awesome. I quit the next day. <laughs> I was like, it's not getting better than that. Yeah, that was a good call. Yeah. My parents, like, made me play sports. And I was like, why? I'm so bad at this, and I hate it. Yeah. I'd be playing soccer, and I would just just be sitting in the field, like, playing with ladybugs. (laughs) I have a very vivid memory of me finding this ladybug, and I'm just on the ground, like, crouching down like a gargoyle. (laughs) And there's like a game going around. They're like, come on, Eli, let's go. And I'm just like, no. <laughs> I'm admiring the miracles of nature right now. So what, what the fuck was Eli like in high school? Uh, I went to boarding school for two years. Um, what state? Montana and Arizona. Okay, very different. Oh, wow. Why did you do that? Why did you? Why? Uh, my, par- I, my parents said I was a difficult kid, and I wasn't like a bad kid. I was just like. Too many ladybugs. I was I was against authority and I just like I wouldn't listen to directions and I was just like, you guys, you adults don't know what you're talking about. I know how to do this better. And uh turns out I was right, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you guys are like my thought process was like, you guys are all teachers and you're not making that much money. And like, how are you gonna tell me how to live my life? Yeah. And um yeah, I don't know, I didn't have many friends and uh I just wanted to draw and like make art and music and do theater and stuff. Yeah. I remember I uh, I almost got suspended because I my teacher one day had a substitute and I always talked a lot in the back mm-hmm. of class and the teacher got super pissed, looked at me and goes, "You will never amount to anything in your life." <laughs> Whoa. Yeah, and I just responded, "You're a substitute teacher." <laughs> <laughs> and they got fucking pissed, dude. <laughs> the next day the teacher was like, funny fucking burn you know you can't fucking talk shit to kids like that when you're in that position because no. they can be anything and you're already what you've <laughs> yeah, exactly. made yourself to be you you've you already got a cap they're like casey what do you want to be when you grow up crap <laughs> worm <laughs> worm <laughs> what got you into the worm material oh i don't know i think this is funny i can't remember <laughs> Well, I guess it started when I was a kid. <laughs> it was cold. It was unusually cold for that July. Um, <laughs> this is Charlie Rose. Yeah. <laughs> Sounds my, like the beginning to a recipe. <laughs> my mother had just come back from the war. <laughs> she, she was an artillery gunner. Um, <laughs> gender norms. No, I don't know, man. I just think it's... I don't know that how to do anything. I just think it's funny. I can't. I don't remember. I don't remember when I started. It comes from the sixty thousand hardcore worms the crab yeah. thing about uh, good news, bad news. It comes from that bit. So I guess that started it. Yeah. But yeah, funny tell. I like Very it. Very funny. I really like it. it makes people laugh. Make sixty thousand <laughs> hardcore worms, <laughs> mama. <laughs> Go. Dressed in silks that would make Caligula blush. <laughs> the finest Each worm. Silks. Does it weird you out how many fucking comedians just like <laughs> idolize you and memorize your set? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, it happens a lot. Well, it's flattering. It's good. But yeah. it's like it's like it's pr- they're all pretty catchy things to say though. Like they're just fun words. To oh, say. dude, he's the master yeah. of catchphrases. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's what I was saying. Like you yeah. say like catchphrases almost. Like they're just fun to say to yourself. Yeah, yeah. Like I never, I'm not even like saying them to myself. I'm like, I love Casey Rocket so much. Let me say his bits. It's just like sixty thousand words. Like I just say it to myself. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. I didn't intentionally do that, but yeah, it turned. Uh, yeah, that's good marketing, man. I didn't mean yeah. to do that, but yeah. I think go. all good comedy has like rhythm to it too. So yeah, it's very rhythmic. The yeah. first time I saw him, I was on acid at uh the. That's a great way to Bianca's see him for mic, the first time. Uh, <laughs> at that uh, hotel. Yeah. Where's that at Hilton? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and. And I was just like, that was the hardest I've ever laughed at an uh, open mic. Yeah. Probably, <laughs> probably ever. And um, I was just like, I, I like need to find out more of this guy. He, I, he was like a celebrity to me. I was like, I want to be friends with him. Yeah. <laughs> and and I, I, I looked him up on YouTube and I just watched all his shit. And then he, <laughs> he has like a 15 minute video of the blood moon where he's just like, oh, yeah. give me your milky. <laughs> blood moon. 
Daddy wants Milksy from the moon's fertile breasts. Reap the crops and sow the milk. Put the kids in the basement. <laughs> and it has like, I'm fucking crying laughing, and it has like 40 views. <laughs> and I'm like, dude, this is a fucking gold mine. <laughs> yeah, that seems, yeah, you seem like the premier audience for the moon nipples thing. <laughs> Yeah, man. I think that was kind of the the turn in my comedy. That's like kind of I had two absurdist jokes I wrote like four years ago when my comedy was kind of changing, and it was I would be telling a story and I would stop and I would go, "Huh, owls is bears now," <laughs> <laughs> and, <laughs> and the point is not the joke; it's the concept of what it's led me to. Like that was the beginning of kind of doing what I do now and then just like a sassy high schooler with too much <laughs> confidence about something that doesn't matter owls is bears now <laughs> uh and then what was the what were you just saying oh the blood oh yeah I would go like if the moon had nipples would we milk it Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah so that I go way back with that moon milk stuff man you can actually get moon milk at summer moon coffee that's like their brand Siri <laughs> <laughs> a new note moon milk <laughs> Siri Santa, I want to see you sin. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. Well, listen, guys, we did the full fucking hour. So uh, oh, do you yeah. want to uh, want to call out where people can find you? Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm uh, Casey Rocket on uh, Instagram, TikTok, and YouTube. And, yeah, that's good enough for me. I also have a Patreon if you want to support me, Casey Rocket on there. And I do my own podcast with Leo Kanaka. Yeah. My podcast is at Giggle Boys on TikTok, and my raps are at Brody Lowballer. And I'm at Greg underscore DePaul, TikTok and Instagram. Hell yeah. Well, listen, guys, thank you so much. This was a lot yeah, of fucking fun. fun. Thank you, man. Yeah, cheers. Uh, we'll be back next week, uh, Wednesday at 2, and we're probably going to do another one on Friday. So fucking tune into that Friday by right, right 8 Woo. or 9 o'clock. Fuck yeah. And w Casey, I also want to get you back to do the fucking uh, hot wings. Hot wing. You yeah. come do hot wings. You want to do it with us? Yeah. Dude, I bought all of the hot ones, hot sauces, and I'm we're going to fucking. Gonna take you down. We got to do it. Yeah, me and Eli need to do it. I'll do it, yeah. Hell yeah. Yeah. You That's, look excited. Nah, uh, not. <laughs> I'm, I'm very sensitive butthole, but we'll do it. That'll be fine. Dude, I had surgery on mine. No excuses. Uh, <laughs> Because it was what, too Was tight. it cosmetic? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like it's smiling now. <laughs> he died it. <laughs> okay, guys. Thanks for watching. I've been Jimmy Clifford. I'll see you next week. Salute.